I just got a brand new coffee machine because my old one broke. Was that a good idea right before Christmas? Absolutely not. But I can't live without a coffee machine. You know, some people need their hearts. Some people need their livers. I need a coffee machine. This brings me so much joy. I don't think people realize just how much I rely on my coffee machine to see me through the day. Probably an unhealthy amount. But anyway, hi, welcome or welcome back to How to Train Your Gavin. I currently have fluff on my face, so please ignore. It's from the Udi, it's a brand new Udi as well. Today I want to go through my end of year TBR, my December TBR pretty much because there's only December left, and also some of my big, 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 big plans for next year. And I have loads of big plans next year, so I hope you stick around for those. And what's really exciting as well is that you, yes, you, could also be joining me on one of these. I just want to say this is not a sponsored video. This is not a sponsored video. However, I am hopefully working with Trova Trip next year to go on an adventure and to bring people with me. Essentially, we could go anywhere in the world. Anywhere. We could go to haunted castles in Germany. We can go to a snowy log cabin in Iceland and read books by the fire. Or we could sunbathe with our books on a tropical island. Who knows? The world is our oyster. And it's going to fit so well into the huge plans I have next year for a lot of my travelling, my travelling adventure vlogs, which I've done a few of now. I've done my Steeper Train vlog. I've done my Whitby vlog. I've done my Chillingham Castle vlog. What else have I done? <laughs> I've done my Cabin in the Middle of Nowhere vlog. I've become addicted to travel again. And I honestly couldn't think of anything better than doing at least one trip with you guys. I do have a survey down in the description box. Please do fill it out. It only takes two minutes. And it's just to see your interest like where you would want to go what you would want to do and there is a part about budget but it's in usd so if you have a different currency then you'll probably have to adjust it up or adjust accordingly to your kind of conversion rate for me it's great british pounds so i have to like bump it up. I've seen other booktubers and YouTubers do this as well with Trover Trip, with Cindy has gone to Thailand, Christian Jones has a one coming up in Japan which looks so fantastic honestly like I desperately want to go. I want to go so bad unless you guys want to go to Japan with me. How about that? Let's go to Japan together. So yeah, there is a quick survey to take. It would mean the world to me if you could fill it out. And then hopefully something happens from it. Maybe next year, we could be going on one of these epic trips together. So I do want to talk about the trips I have planned for next year already that I am so excited about. So firstly, I'm going to be going to Paris at the end of January, start of February for a special Valentine's Day kind of special. And I want to try and read romance. I'm, <laughs> I'm taking my single ass all the way to Paris, the most romantic city, and I'd be it alone, essentially. <laughs> I'm going there alone, and I wouldn't have it any other way. So that would be really fun. I would love some romance recommendations, maybe even set in Paris as well, so that I can read while I'm there. And then, potentially in March, I am going to be staying in the most haunted pub in York. And it's I think it's called the Golden Fleece Inn. So I'm planning on spending at least a couple of nights there to read a ghost story, and... Again, like, why am I doing this to myself? I swear I'm haunted. I swear I have a ghost. That's not Jack. I did have a previous ghost called Jack, who I honestly fell in love with, not gonna lie. But Jack's left me, and now I have potentially a malicious entity here in this house. So I don't know why I'm asking for trouble. I've already put this in my community tab, but after that, I'm going to 30 East Drive, which is a really haunted house in England. It doesn't look like a haunted house. It looks like any other house. It looks like a house you would probably live in or just like a regular family would live in. And there is a malicious poltergeist that lives there and it's called the, the Black Monk of Pontefract. And there have been so many instances of people getting hurt while there that I'm really scared because I also have to take out public liability insurance and show them proof of that before I can even go in. And I have to sign a waiver as well. So that's gonna be really scary. So I wanna read some kind of like demonic book while I'm there as well. Right, these last two things, there might be more as well during the year and the one with you guys might happen too. The last two that I have planned for the year for now is in October, I'm planning on returning to Chillingham Castle and figuring out some of the mysteries that we were left with in the previous Haunted Castle vlog. It's gonna be scary because I was really scared while I was there. I don't know if I'll go for as long as I did the last time because I just won't get sleep. But I do want to find out who Charles is, for instance. I want to see if the twin room is still inundated with flies, you know, things like that. I want to get some resolution and stuff. So I want to return to Chillingham Castle for next year's sort of vlogs of Halloween. And then in November next year, 
I'm so excited. I'm going to Lapland. I'm going to a place, I think it's called like Santa's Village. And I have like this little pod thing. This, it's amazing. It's like a pod. Yeah, it's gonna be like under the Northern Lights. So that'll be for next year's Christmas content. I don't really have anything big planned this Christmas. I'm just, I, I'm knackered. I'm exhausted. And my cats are nonstop fighting right now. And it's so distracting. So I apologize. Yeah, those are the kind of plans that I have for next year. But before we even get to next year, I need to tell you what I'm reading for the rest of this year. And it's kind of vague a little bit. I don't really have a solid plan. In the first week of December, from December 1st to December 7th, I'm doing Camp believe -a -thon with my Nevermoreans and Frost Hottest patrons. This round is called Camp believe -a -thon, the Snow Festival. So hopefully we can make it really festive and Christmassy and it'll be, so will you two stop? Literally, I'm trying to film. You are so, like, rude. That's all I can say, you are so rude. I have just taken the sheets off to go in the washing machine, by the way. <laughs> oh, Toby, you look so, oh, come on, Ash. That was mean. Toby put his little paws up. So that's what I'm currently dealing with. So yes, can't believe it's on the snow festival with my patrons. I don't really have a set TBR because I like my patrons to pick my can't believe it's on TBRs, but I do have three so that if any of my patrons are watching, I do have three that I would be very interested in reading. So one of them is actually called The Miraculous Sweetmakers, The Frost Fair by Natasha Hastings, illustrated by Alex T. Smith. This one is set in 1683 and we have two best friends and they help run um, one of their father's sweet shops. There is a mysterious conjurer and a frost fair that comes to town and it encaptures these characters in an adventure. And it just sounds so frosty and so wintry and so brilliant for this time of year that this would be a great one to vote for if you're watching. And then I also really want to get to The Van Der Beekers of 141st Street by Karina Yang Glaser. I saw this recommended on Lexi's channel and it looks so good. It's set just before Christmas Eve as well, I think. And this one follows the Van Der Beeker children and they are, well, I mean, there are a few of them and their landlord is gonna kick them out before New Year. So they need to try and find a way to change their landlord's mind. And this is all leading up to Christmas. So that, if, honestly, can you guys stop please? You're shaking my camera. So yeah, this is set just before Christmas, so it'll be really great to read in the Christmas period. And then another one, I mean, I have way more, so I will give my patrons lots of options. But the next one, and the final one that I'm like really excited to read, is Operation Nativity by Jenny Pearson. This one is an art copy, and it has a slip thing with my name on it, which is so cool. This one sounds a little bit like Christmas Chronicles, in a way, because we have two ordinary children who come across, I think, an angel like Angel Gabriel who comes to life in their grandparents back garden and there's a race to save Christmas. So it sounds a little Christmas Chronicles-esque but with an angel instead of Santa. And I believe this is already out. This is just my art copy of it. So I really do want to get to this. I also need to read Regifted Ganged by the Ghosts of Christmas by J.L. Logos and Vera Valentine. It says that this one is part of the Holiday Hedonism series. And I got this a while ago. I got it on Kindle Unlimited back in June. And I was like, I'm waiting for the perfect time to read this because I believe it's a, like a Christmas carol retelling. It's a reverse harem tale of holiday hedonism, Chaz Dickens style. This filthy gender bent twist on a Christmas carol follows businesswoman Ellie and four ghostly guests, Jake, Anon, Yo, and Exel as she learns how rewarding giving can be. She'll be absolutely filled with joy by the time they're done helping her embrace the true meaning of Christmas. So it sounds like pretty much like if Ebenezer Screws had sex with the ghost of Christmas past, present and future in order to regain that Christmas spirit. But it sounds like our business woman Ellie's getting more than just Christmas spirit. So I picked this one for Steph's Clitrich Book Club, which we will be reading for in December, I believe. So yeah, I'm so happy with my choice on this one, honestly, because it's very short. It's only like 52 pages. So I do need more recommendations because I also want to do a reading vlog for this with other filthy Christmas novellas. So if you know any other seriously funny and filthy Christmas romances, hit me up, especially on Kindle Unlimited, and especially if they're about 50 pages long. I would absolutely live, so please give me your recommendations. I would love that. This is essentially a video of me asking for recommendations. 
It's not very Christian of me. I potentially want to try and read some of the horror shortlist on the Goodreads Choice Awards. I know like Kayla from Books and Lala, Gabby from Gabby Reads, like loads of people do this on YouTube and I would love to maybe try it. I did the middle grade shortlist last year and really enjoyed it. So I kind of want to do a different shortlist every year. And because this year has been like my rise to horror in a way, like I've been reading like quite a lot of horror this year. I think it'll be great to round out the year with horror. So I might try and do a week of reading the horror shortlist on Goodreads. I have no idea what the shortlist will be, so it will be a very quick turnaround, honestly. The opening round closes in seven days, and then I think after that, we might find out the shortlist. But there are a few on the shortlist that I'm super interested in reading. So I've only read one. <laughs> so far, I've only read one book. I've only read one book in this entire opening round, and that's The Children on the Hill by Jennifer McMahon. The ones I'm really interested in reading are Sundial by Catriona Ward, What Moves the Dead by T. Kingfisher, House of Hunger by Alexis Henderson, Manhunt by Gretchen Falcon Martin. Those are the ones that I'm like the most interested in reading. Gallows Hill has a nice cover as well by Darcy Cole, so that's quite nice. But yes, anyway, when that shortlist gets announced, I might try it, this might not happen. I might get to a point next month where I'm like, you know what, let's not. It was a good idea at the time, but let's not do that. I will be doing three arcs in the One Piece saga. That looks very weird like that. I will be reading the J- I'm going to be buttering these names. I'm going to learn how to pronounce these. Jaya Arc, the Skypea Arc, and the Long Ring Long Land Arc. Whatever that means. <laughs> I'll be reading three more arcs. I'm going to be doing the Alabaster Arc at the end of this month. So after that, it will be these three arcs. So that will be from volumes 24 through 34 of One Piece. Oh, th this is all I've been wanting to do. All I've been wanting to do, I've been struggling doing other videos because I just think, oh, I just want to be reading One Piece right now. I want to get back to One Piece. Bring me One Piece. And uh, finally, I do have a book club that I host with Jade, Steph and Pris over on Patreon. It's called the JPEX Book Club. And for November and December, no, it's for December and January. Oh, is it November and December? Oh my god, I'm terrible at my own book club. We are reading Hummingbird Salamander by Jeff Vandermeer. You know, I think it's December is the last month I have to read this. So I will definitely be reading it this month. And then the live show will be in January. Yeah, that's right, because we just did the live show for the Shadow Glass. Yes, I'm... I'm on it. I'm on it. So Hummingbird Salamander. This one follows a woman who gets this mysterious envelope with a key in it. And this key leads her to a storage unit with a taxidermied hummingbird in it and directions to a taxidermied salamander. So she goes on like, this little treasure hunt to try and find this taxidermied salamander. It honestly does sound fantastic, but I love to take the piss out of Jade. <laughs> and I love to make fun of this book because of the title. I keep calling it like Charmander Fishmonger and silly stuff like that. But I am looking forward to it. I think it might be the best book club pick that we've done for this year. Like that's my prediction. And yeah, I'm actually excited to give this one a read. So that is my December TBR and those were my plans for next year as well, or at least some of them. There will definitely be more things I have up my sleeve that I want to do. I'm just looking into logistics. And then there is also the potential Trova trip with you guys as well. So don't forget to fill out that survey for me, please. I would really appreciate it. Tobu, get off there. I forgot he was called Tobu there. I was going to call him Ash. Tobu, off. Tobu. He's just ignoring me. Tobu, stop. He's eating my favorite. Like, stop. These cats, they're in their teens. I believe they're in their teens right now. So they're just making my life absolutely hell. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Don't forget to give this video a like if you enjoyed it and subscribe if you haven't already. Leave a comment down below. Let me know all the things you're reading in December and all your plans that you have for next year as well. It's going to be fantastic 2023. So I'm so excited. I want to give a huge thank you to my patrons for supporting my channel. If you'd like to join my Patreon or follow me on any social media, then all the links are down in the description box. But yeah, I hope I will see you in the next video. Bye.